Hi, this is Rick Yates, Technical Services Manager for GGS Pro and Griffin. Today's short video is going to be on controlling western flower thrips with insecticides on greenhouse ornamentals. We've already prepared a video on using biocontrols on thrips, and there'll be a separate video coming out on edible crops shortly. It's always important when we're talking about pesticides to remind growers that it's their obligation to read and follow the entire pesticide label. And it's good to point out also that labels change fairly often. So when you get a new container into your operation, make sure you read the label and be aware of any changes that are made. And as always, we're going to mention products that we have a lot of confidence in, but there's others out there that might be just as safe and effective as the ones we mentioned. Going to talk about thrips a little bit here, and I just want to um, I wanted to show this picture. We're finding more and more chili thrips showing up in several parts of the country, and want you to be aware of them. They they show up on your sticky cards. They're about a third the size of the western flower thrips, and maybe a better diagnostic tool for a lot of our growers is that if you have uh, thrips showing up on your sticky cards, and there's flowers present in the greenhouse, but the damage is primarily on the young leaves and the growing tips, rather than going to the flower buds and flower parts. It's a pretty good chance that you have chili thrips, and you might want to get those identified by an entomologist. So we're going to talk about first products that are effective at a quick knockdown, and the reproductive capacity of thrips is so high that um, we want to go put our our best foot forward right away to knock down the population. So uh, the products on this slide are all ones that would provide a quick knockdown. So um, Avid and Acetin-O is a tank mix. We had actually stopped recommending Avid several years ago due to resistance on thrips, but tank mixing it with an azadiractin-based insect growth regulator such as Acetin-O um, does a very good job. We like to make two sprays seven days apart. Similar, uh, Pylon is still one of the very best products. If you give me one shot to kill as many thrips as possible tonight, I would probably still go with Pylon. Um, do use nothing higher than the 5.2 ounce per 100 gallon rate. The, the label lets you go higher, but higher rates don't seem to improve efficacy and they increase the chance that you might have a phytotoxic reaction. Hachi Hachi, when it first came out, was an EC formulation, had a lot of phytotoxicity issues. The new water-based formulation is much better, but there are still some crops, including some important ones, such as in patients in New Guinea patients and salvia, uh, that you need to watch out for in the spring greenhouse due to phyto concerns. It is nice to have a different mode of action. It's 21A. We typically don't use that for thrips, so that uh, you might consider that as part of your rotation. Mainspring has been very effective against thrips, both from a spray and a long lasting drench. Excellent plant safety there. All, all open blooms seem to be safe with Mainspring. And then a relatively new product called Pradia, which has a mode of action 28 in it that's not, not dissimilar from what's in Mainspring, but it also adds flonicamid, which is the active ingredient Aria. And that one two punch does increase um, thrips control as well as adding aphid control to Pradia. All these are good quick knockdown products. Products that take a little longer to work but tend to have a longer residual include Pedestal as an insect growth regulator. Um, it's kind of underrated. Um, because of the IGR activity, growers don't see the quick knockdown, but it works for about 14 days and it, it keeps the immature thrips in the immature stage and never becoming reproductive adults. So especially once you've gotten a good knockdown or in combination with an adult aside pedestal is a good deal. Contos is interesting that it only controls thrips effectively from a drench. Uh, foliar sprays are not particularly effective on them. And um, we like Contos quite a bit. It gives you a nice long lasting control. Do be aware that there's some significant phytotoxicity issues, including all types of geraniums, Dracaena, and Cordyline. You can certainly call GGS Pro if you have any questions about the crop that you wish to treat. Overture, um, kind of slow acting. It seems like it works best on the immature stages, although it's not an IGR. Uh, most growers report it takes six to seven days to evaluate the results in terms of uh, thrips showing up on sticky cards. So be a little bit patient with it. And again, we don't use that first. We'll use one of the other knockdowns and then we'll rotate over to Overture once we start to get the population under control. Grandivo CG is a unique product. It's a chromobacterium. It's actually isolated from soil. Um, the research that we've seen on it indicates that you really need to go on a program with this to have good effects. In fact, uh, the one uh, really effective trial against thrips, they made weekly sprays for three weeks, and it really wasn't until the third week that the numbers started to go down, and the thrip numbers kept going down for two weeks after they stopped the spraying. So consider Grandivo CG to be more of a program type approach where you're going to be spraying regularly. 
Now, on the column below that, you'll see various um, uh, mycofungicide, uh, sorry, mycoinsecticides, um, all of which have good activity against thrips, and all of which we have found to be further enhanced in their control by mixing an azadiractin based insect growth regulator such as azotino with them. In the video on vegetable crops, I'll go into more detail about how to use these types of products together for best effect. A lot of growers uh, find that it's relatively easy to control thrips while they're hanging baskets or down low, either on the ground or on benches. But once they hang them up, uh, it's difficult to scout them. It's difficult to spray them. And um, the sunny and, and dry environment up there seems to enhance the, the reproductive capacity of thrips at the same time. So they're looking for long, uh, long lasting drenches. And there's really only two that we have confidence in. Um, Contos is very effective against thrips from a drench. Uh, do be aware that it's slow to take up into plants, so it can take two to three weeks to have the full effect of Contos uh, from a drench application, but then you get about five to six weeks of control, very good control after that. Uh, Mainspring GNL, that, that takes effect faster and also has a nice long residual to it, and it can be used on crops such as geraniums and dracaena that you can't use Contos on. So I hope that helps. Thanks for listening in on today's webinar. If you have any comments or any questions uh, concerning this video, you can contact us at the contact information that's on the slide. Or if you have ideas for what you'd like to see in a future video, we'd love to hear that as well. Thank you.